We are coming to you for the first time live from our studio in Glen Ashley, Deben North, Deben, Guazulu Natal in South Africa. Welcome. And of course, I'm joined by Ubaba Mfundisi. Utabi Matlava, so what I'm Fundis. Hallelujah. Member of Grace Family Church, Shine Grace Family Church, Shine and of course, Grace. you are a conference and seminar speaker, a leadership coach, and a yes. published author. Yes. Yeah, there, yeah, there's a book that yes. you have written, an interesting book about Africa, no call, no, but yes. yeah, that's a story for another day. Right. <laughs> prophetic ministry. Yes, there's a friend of mine who likes to say some are prophesying, some are prophesying. Exactly. Which is which. But just briefly, can you tell us uh, where you come from? Uh, well, I'm from a family of pastors. Hallelujah. Uh, <laughs> from the Assembly of God. I have uh, been a mom the full time in the ministry. Yeah. And we have four boys and one uh, sister. Yeah. And all of us are in the ministry. Yes. And I go to Grace Family Church. All right. But my ministry is more on traveling. Yeah. I go to speak to conferences uh -huh. uh, of churches and yes. also corporate gatherings. Yeah. And also government, uh, public, uh, public sector gatherings. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. All right. I like that. So. No one getting up a full list. It's yes. just that when you decided not to have a church church as it was. <laughs> <laughs> I remember actually, I think mm. it was like five years ago. Yeah. <laughs> when uh, we met for the first time, there was because uh, I like these intriguing topics. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, and then uh, and a friend of ours, a mutual friend, invited you. So we sat in our boardroom. You remember? Yes, I remember. About yes. This particular yes. <laughs> yes. topic. I'm not gonna say because obviously we will be uh, discussing this topic in the this particular talk show sometime mm. in the future. Joel 2, uh, verse 28 says, and afterward, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Yes. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Yeah. Your old men will dream dreams. Your young men will see visions. Right. One of the gifts of the Holy Spirit is prophecy. Yes. This gift is an identifying mark of the remnant church. What is a prophet? Okay, a prophet is a person who who speaks forth the message from God. Ah, okay. All right, that's a prophet. All right. Um, it's very important to understand that there's difference between prophesying yeah. and being a prophet. Ah, all right. Okay, okay. Well, prophesying, yes. uh, Paul says, uh, the Bible says we can all prophesy. Mm. And then a prophet mm. is a ministry that mm. is a speciality for prophecy. All right. All okay. Right. But what we learn here is today is we'll discover with the prophecy is not divorced from the Bible. Okay. All right. Actually, the Bible is prophecy. Okay. When you go to the book of Revelations, mm -hmm. uh, it's chapter 19, verse 10. Yeah. John is meeting this 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 saint from heaven. Mm. And do not do not Google because I'm a fellow servant like you. 
And then he mentioned a statement that was very powerful. It says the testimony of yeah. Jesus yeah. is the spirit of prophecy. Um, so the, in other words, the testimony is what you have seen and heard. Okay. Right? Okay. Now, okay. Ikamili testimony yeah. is the same word for the word. All right. Because we right. preach what we have seen and heard. Yeah. So, you're prophesying. Mm. 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 Because the, the explanation of prophecy mm. is to foretell mm. and foretell. Foretell means the future. Foretell means to speak forth, to speak. To speak, no one could remain prophesied. Ah, okay. I can, so if Nkulumi is a written word, yeah, a written word when it's in the Bible is called um, a logos. Marcel Semdonian is called Rhema. Okay, right? Okay, so my saying, I'm studying it, I'm designing it, I'm, yes. I'm, I'm dissecting it, yes, but when I speak it, yeah. then I'm prophesying. Oh. The word Rhema is the spoken word from God. Okay. The same written word is from mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. If it gets into the mouth, it's still from God. Yes. So Paul yes. says we can all prophesy. Yeah. So it takes away the fact that prophesying is like Uchel Mundi and all this. It's okay. not so. How it's not so. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's going to drive global. It's going to go global. <laughs> exactly. 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 All right. So okay. now, prophecy, prophecy people must see it as speaking for. Okay. And we can all prophesy. Oh, all means all. Okay. Even children can. Okay. So if you teach your children, you teach. When you wake up in the morning, so Kulmo Psalms 91, so, so Kulmo Deuteronomy 28, which yeah. is, a, is a list of blessings, yes. they are prophesying on their own lives. Ah. And now, it, 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 when you speak of your life, is it, that is written, okay. what's going to happen is the Bible says you shall have what you say. All right. And then there's another scripture, Eliti. Uh, the king speaks something and it, it is established. Okay. And the Bible says we are kings. Yeah. Oh, okay. So the establishment of the word on earth in our lives is waiting on us to speak the written word. Ah, all right. Okay. So okay. you want establishment? Yes. Speak the word. Yes. Uh, I've noticed something that what we are experiencing now is a result of the words you spoke yesterday. Mm. So if it's bad things, then we spoke them right yesterday. Yes. If in I 18, as we sp who spoke, yeah. somebody else spoke it. Somebody uh, in authority spoke it. Uh, maybe uh, Mzali, maybe yes. Manu, maybe uh -huh. class teacher, uh -huh. but you are stupid. Mm -hmm. Then, then mm -hmm. it, it, that thing becomes established. A few years later, mm. you fail interview, you do bad themselves in room. So what happens is, it's a fulfillment. Of what somebody, of what spoke. somebody spoke over your so, life. Exactly. So we must be careful Very what careful. we say with our mouths and yes. what we say about our lives, exactly. about the lives of our children, exactly. about our businesses, exactly. and about all the people exactly. that we are connected to. Exactly. All right. So let, now that's prophesying. Everyone can prophesy. And then you've got prophetic ministry. Yes, you've got. All right. Then you've got prophetic ministry. Prophetic ministry in Busan uh -huh. well, First of all, if you yeah. read the Bible, yes. it talks about talks about prophecy uh, edifying mm -hmm. in the book of Corinthians is talk about prophecy edifying it yeah. edifies it gives direction oh okay yes and also a prophet always shows up when there's a battle when there's going to be an attack on God's people the leaders of God's people will come to a prophet and say, you remember Jehoshaphat? Yes. We don't know what to do. Do we have a prophet in our midst? Okay. Let him come and speak to us. Oh. Why did they do that? It's because they knew that once a prophet speaks, mm -hmm. our enemies will be defeated. Mm -hmm. If the enemies come because of our sin, he'll tell us we'll repent. Mm -hmm. If we repent, then we'll have victory on the enemies. Mm -hmm. So prophecy, Axio to Savant. Okay. A prophecy is not to excite people. Oh. Pro <laughs> yes. How yes. can I not excite? It, it, get it, excited, you continue. will get excited, but that's not the purpose. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So a prophecy is mm. to, to, to defeat the enemy. For mm. sure you'll be excited. But yes. I didn't prophesy with an aim of exciting you. Ah. I prophesied with the aim of defeating, uh, to see your enemies defeated. Okay. 
I prophesied with the aim, aim for you to be uh, edified. Oh, and then wow. excitement becomes an end of that. It's not the main thing. Yeah. Because uh -huh. if I make it the main thing, I'll, I'll talk Uzukumi is in order to make you happy, yet God is saying something else. Yeah. Well, oh, wow. I might I might talk about big cars and and God might say, you know what, you need to break the curse. You just mm. spoken about your life. Yeah. I skip that, ah. which is the root of the problem. Okay. I try to excite people. So exciting excitement is something that ignores the source of the problem mm. and focus mm. on its temporary excitement. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, the ministers that have built, excuse me, built on excitement, mm. the ministers that have built on excitement is like a fix. It's exactly like drug. Okay. I'm down, I'll come on Sunday and get the fix. Okay. And prophecy has to do with establishment of God's will in, over your life. Okay. It protects you from your enemies. It makes what you desire to come to pass. Ah. God's will to come to pass. It has ah. nothing to do with that. It's not Aksusu doing that. Exactly. All right. So now, you know, this is very interesting. What, what qualifies one uh, to, to be a prophet? Okay, first of all, you need to to have a relationship with the, the main prophet. All right. Okay. The Bible says Jesus is a prophet. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, he prophesied also. Yes. Uh, it's like also saying uh, what qualifies to be an apostle. That's a first step. Ah. The Bible says Jesus is an apostle of our soul. Yeah. Okay. Because he was sent on earth. He mm -hmm. can apostle means a sent one. Mm -hmm. So the prophet also is the one who speaks forth God's will and word. Mm. Right? Excuse me. That's, that's number one. Number two, you need to be uh, under somebody who's training you. In, in other words, you need to be under a pastor. Mm -hmm. And they, they, they qualify. You know, you cannot lead without following first. Uh, following qualifies you to lead. Mm. And then the third thing is you need to go through the school of prophets. Okay, so there is training there's that is needed. Training that is needed. Okay. Exactly. All right. So now, when somebody might say, okay, what's the school of prophets? Am I going to be taught how to? The main thing is the school of the word of God. All right. I recommend that mm. prophets yeah. must be under a teacher. Okay. So that they won't go to the extremes. Ah. The reason they go to the extremes, but yes. and there's no teacher. Okay. A teacher gives guidelines. Okay. And prophets must be an, under the apostle. Yeah. Or a pastor. Yeah. Then the pastor, little Bible, is, is an elder. Mm -hmm. And an elder must be able to teach. The, the reason a prophet must have a strong foundation of the word yeah. is so that when he prophesizing as we call him, Okay. That are outside the word. Okay. All right. You know, there's something here. I think uh, Paul will first Corinthians 14, 1, 14. Pursue love and earnestly desire the spiritual gifts, especially that you may prophesy. Mm. Is it something that you can pursue or is it meant to be something that is a gift or it's something that can be taught? Because you have just told yes, me yes, now yes, 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 yes. about the prophetic school. How, how yeah. does it work? Just break it down for us. Exactly. Uh -huh. um, first of all, let me say to the word pursue. Yes. It's two things. Yeah. You can pursue what you have and pursue what you don't have. It's two ways. Okay. If, you, if you pursue what you have, yes. you're like somebody who's got a seed on the ground. I'm pursuing what? Harvest. Oh. So I keep watering it. Ah. It's, there's no harvest as yet. So what I'm doing, I'm pursuing the harvest. Yes, yes. When the yes. harvest arrives, and then I reap the harvest, okay? Ah. And then there's pursue of what you don't have. Okay, okay. It's when you go and look for it. Okay. So you go to church, you're looking yeah. for the word. Yeah. The, okay, we said the Ekaleni. Okay, let me say this, mm. which is very important, mm -hmm. is that 
if somebody wants to be good in hearing God's voice, yes, he must be. The way way it starts is mm -hmm. because God's voice is when He speaks. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. To quickly pick up and to know what He speaks now, mm. you should pick up and know deeper what He has spoken already. Which would be in the Bible. The Bible. Ah, okay. So the musicians got this thing. I'm a musician. I don't know who's even when God can figure out no about no, someone. someone. Yes. <laughs> but a musician will tell you with yeah. every song yeah. comes from something NSE song. Which is not a song. Which is not a song. Okay. Tell me about that. Yeah. You go to the ocean, you hear the waves. I mean based on my waves. Yeah. Then the song comes through. And you, you have an experience somebody's kind then the song is born out of that okay and and david is a good example right david says i'm so full of the word mm -hmm. i begin to sing it out mm. so the word produces melody mm. Mm. so also the word produces the voice mm. Mm. so that you know which is good which is the voice is it god's voice your voice or the enemy's voice mm -hmm. you must be you must get used to what he said mm. then you'll be able to detect what he says you know i like that you mm. must know whether it's god's voice the enemy yes, or yes. your voice yes so who can element your discernment thank you hey, you got it in yeah. the right discernment <laughs> cool, <laughs> cool. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you know, uh, you know, in the in the body of Christ, we have seen uh, a lot of uh, Paul is always crying about saints fighting the saints before mm -hmm. or attacking the other saints before they attack the devil. Yeah. So he even speaks about taking what is spiritual that is a benefit. Yeah. And using it against God's children. All right. Uh, okay. So. When people talk about discernment, the first mm. thing, what's all about? How how bad he is, how good he is. No ma one beban. You know. <laughs> yeah. So so it, it discernment yeah. doesn't start with that. Mm. If we have a relationship with one another as God's children. Mm -hmm. The main thing is love. Yes. And love covers faults. Yeah. Covers a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. And a question of discernment. Okay. It's the same. If you if you if you find yourself in the word of God most mm -hmm. of the time, mm -hmm. then you know his voice. Okay. Yeah. The first thing to know about discernment is that yeah. you need to know a discern God's voice. Yes. Yeah, Mazo Ubabak, my my it has to be voice. I could tell it in my mind. I'm French. Yeah, must put my name. Hey, you are eh? Yeah, must put my injury. If you're able to do that, and you turn around, you'll be able to pick up an enemy in the flesh. Okay, this is the physical example of it is a man. Discernment has to has to do it. I'm able to, to to know the real from the fake. Yeah. Because okay. it, it discernment is necessary. If God didn't give it to us, yeah, we're going to have a problem with it. Yeah. Because the enemy, when he comes to you, yeah, he'll say, "Okay, uh, I'm attacking the child of God." Yeah. He's not going to use his you know, which you also bring on church of crazy bank. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. He brings something. A spiritual, mm. something that sounds churchy, mm. but that has a twist. A twist. Hey, man. Hey. Hey, hey. Uh, 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 yes. The word again. The word. <laughs> the word. The word. The word. 
fact, let's just hold it right there. Let me go to our Facebook page. Yes, we back. Ukuti, the people that are watching us live. Right. Right. Uh, all right. All right. All uh, right. I've got a question for you, La Pababu Mastaba, from Uput Chris Fire. Uti Pratami, thanks for clarification, especially on people trying to excite people most for popularity and gain it's a comment wow. all right it's a comment it's a comment it's a comment, yes, it's a yes, comment. Yes. all right all right okay that's fine we'll go back to our facebook page again and 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 check again so again so again as well because we have a fivefold ministry yes. a lot yes. where yes. I think you have a, a pastor, pastor, an evangelist, a prophet, yes. a, a teacher, an apostle. Yes. You know, do you want to touch a, a, a little bit on, on the fivefold ministries? Because well, sometimes it, it, it sounds like if you are not located in the fivefold ministries, therefore maybe you cannot be a useful or used yeah. in the yeah. church structures that it's not necessarily the case can you can you just maybe take us through those um the fivefold ministry okay fivefold ministry uh, first of all is an apostle yeah second of all is a prophet yeah the, the, the third of all is an evangelist mm -hmm. and the fourth is the pastor mm -hmm. and the little finger here is the teacher okay okay yeah. now the apostle mm. is somebody who's been trained by god in all fivefold he went through all and that's why i get uh i get very concerned when somebody on a 23 years old it's an imposter thank you yes talk to us about this <laughs> no no oh, an apostle is somebody who who can also give birth to other fivefold ministers. All right, okay. But now, one of the things that we should know is that fivefold ministry is not the only ministry in the body of Christ, okay? Yes. A fivefold ministry mm. is, what Paul is saying, is raised by God mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to train the saints mm. for the ministry. Okay, so okay. So if you end ministry with yeah. the fivefold. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It deprives in their church of other ministries. Yes. So yes, right now I'm talking yes. to you with talk shows. Yeah. That's your ministry. Hallelujah. I received. <laughs> <laughs> you know, know. For the first time live on a thrive in abundance talk show because thank, we are a studio Thank you. 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 All right. You know, you know uh, your ministry is like Kimi Nesuka Panabas. Yeah. Barnabas is very strong in relationship building yeah. and in channeling the voices of God yeah. to reach God's people. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So I'm God's voice according to the Bible. Part yes. of the fivefold yeah. is God's voice. Mm -hmm. And I need you as, as Barnabas to channel me to reach many millions of people. So it's a ministry. It's a ministry. A serious ministry. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it's a serious ministry. Yes. We need it. All right. Yeah. So now, yeah. the problem with the church mm. is that we have taken fivefold ministry as an end in itself. Yeah. The results and the fruits of the fivefold ministry yeah. is that they see other ministries born out of them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you read, uh, I think it's Corinthians, I'm not sure, I think it's chapter nine, yeah. second, mm -hmm. it talks about other gifts. Yeah. It yes. talks about the gifts of helps, yes. helps, yeah. administration, yes. governance. Yes. You know, it's yes. not it's all the things that are supposed to be uh, available and present in exactly. the church. Because exactly. Exactly. As you know, sometimes I'm an usher. Yes. In my church. Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's you know, ministry. That's ministry. All right. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. you you begin to be anointed to put the right person at the right place. Yes. Yes. And he hears the word differently because he's seated at the right place. Yeah. A person hears the word, but before he hears the word, 
he feels welcome because of the anointing of an asher. Yeah. So the anointing, when you read the Bible, the Old Testament manifested in different ways. Yes. Moses is called by God to build yeah. the tabernacle. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And God says, I've anointed uh, Bezalel, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's Olihia, mm -hmm. and other guys who are a team mm -hmm. of people, who mm -hmm. are of technicians. Yes. Abazovaki, it happened. It happened, yes, yes. And God says, my spirit and anointing is upon them. Yeah. We thought anointing is upon the preachers only. Yeah. Anointing is upon the guys who are behind the scenes in this show. Yeah. Who are technicians. Yes. And anointing flows, thank God for Google. So God <laughs> anointed Google for this. It's so God. Yeah. God also can anoint a sinner, the anointing that is outside the church oh, for a task. Okay. Which is my servant. Mm, mm, mm. So our president is God's ordained. Mm. And the Bible says God ordained the son. The son is not saved. The son is a is an object. It doesn't <laughs> attend church. But the book of Genesis have ordained the son for the day. I've ordained and anointed the sun, the moon for the night. Mm. So that's anointing functioning outside the church. Mm. So your CEO is an he can smoke, yeah, drink, yeah. all that. Yeah. But your CEO task yeah. and an office yes. is anointed to, to, to run the, the corporate. <laughs> He's not safe. I hear you. But there's an anointing I on him. To re <laughs> exactly. Okay. But they're doing they're the anointed. job. Exactly. Uh -huh. When he comes out of that office, yeah. he's a simple man like anyone. Yeah. Yeah. No? But yeah. when he steps into that office, yes. that's why we respect him. Yeah, of course. You ask yourself, why did Jesus say, Oma o employed, mm. act as if o kasho Yes. You know, every employee must know that. Who yes. when I step into the company, <laughs> I must work as if the Lord is my manager or CEO or, or, or the owner of the company. Yes. You yes, know why? Yes. Because behind the CEO who is not saved, yeah. Jesus, Jesus is there. And if you prayed for the salary, you paid for money. Yeah. You prayed for a new house to pay the board. Okay. Yeah. 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 And God said, this is how I'm going to give you. I'm going to speak to Mr. So-and-so, Mr. So-and-so to employ you. Mm, mm. So Supernatural provision comes through this person. Mm. Supernatural provision. Jesus is involved in all offices. Office of a faithful ministry. Yes. Office of a technician. Yeah. Office of an usher. Yeah. Office outside of a CEO. Yeah. President, minister of this. That's why we respect that. Yeah. It's yeah. Because Jesus is sitting on all these offices. That's why. Mm when they don't do right and allow uh, cause away Tom in yeah. many ways. Yes, yes, it happens a lot. God kicks yeah. them out, yeah. bring somebody else. Ah. Because it, it's it, the office belongs to God. It gives to whoever he wants. <laughs> so then I feel get... like we have a, a topic for another day then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. This is serious. People are so much afraid and dependent on the prophets. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, does uh, okay, some are told how to use their money and mm. whom to give. Kuluma. <laughs> <laughs> is it trusting you? People are so submissive. They will do anything they are told to do without checking it. Thank you. That's a powerful one. Yeah. All right. Talk to us about that. Bob. First of all, mm. I don't need to re reinvent the wheel if I'm a prophet. Yeah. The wheel is already invented. It's, okay. a, it's in the word of God. Yes. Yes. How do you get your needs met? It's in the yeah. Bible. Yeah. Believe, yeah. you receive, yeah. when you pray, and yeah. you shall have. Yeah. Yeah. Speak to the mountain, it yeah. shall be moved. Yeah. Speak to the problem, it shall be moved. Yeah. Maybe most of the people's problems is impatience. 
impatience. A lack of persistence. Ah. Then they they my quick fix. Thank you. Thank God my second name is Patience. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Bob. <laughs> you know, yes. so there, another thing is my little Bible, mm -hmm. we will answer Tina, who are teaching. Teaching is for everyone yeah. in the fivefold ministry. Yeah. Apostle down to the teacher. Yes. We'll, we'll, we'll have tougher judgment. Yes. Judgment has to do with scrutiny yeah. of what you said. Yeah. You might present a speech, yeah. but Jesus looks at how you do it. Ah. So if I tell people about how their needs are going to be met, mm -hmm. The issue is how I put it. Mm -hmm. If I put it like, I'm the answer to all your problems because I'm a prophet. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm waiting for judgment, Baggett. Mm. I left to answer to God. Mm. Because I should be putting it like, Jesus is the answer to your problem. Mm. Mm. Not I am. Mm. Okay? Mm. So if you mm. trust me more than Jesus, mm. then I, 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 I misled you. Mm. I deceived you. Mm, mm, mm. And if I say, uh, if I say uh, you exist because of me, you 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 are successful because of me. No, you are successful because of God's will. Because of God's and will. God's word. Yeah. If you do God's will, you'll be successful. Yes. Hero worshiping is always sin. Hero worshiping is always sin. Bazalwane nieza inina. Hero worshiping is always yes. Let me go back again to our Facebook page because we are just facilitators. Mina, I'm a vessel. Uh, I have to go to our page and check. Yes, amen. It's in the middle of the world. Mm. Of course, who is part of Econo Thrive Global. How important is the gift of discerning of spirit, oh. more especially when it comes to receiving a prophecy in the name of spirits, boo. Yay. <laughs> okay. Let me okay. put it this way. Yeah. Uh, um, um, let me put it this way. A, 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 a issue of prophecy. Yeah. I wrote it down in my notes. Yeah. Okay. That a prophecy can be a little bit All right. All right. And a prophecy is not divorced from the word. It can never be. It can never be. Ah. Remember. Yes. He is. He is. He is a, he is a uh, sermon Yeah. He is, he is speaking. Yeah. He's speaking currently. Yeah. He say, Isaiah prophesied this. So what he's speaking is mm -hmm. speaking a sermon or teaching, mm -hmm. but he's referring to what's prophesied previously. Yeah. Peter, same thing. Uh, he preaches a sermon. Three thousand people get saved based on the prophecy of Joel. Mm -hmm. So the prophecy of Joel became mm -hmm. the word. Mm. And the word became prophecy. So it's interchanging. Okay. If somebody is prophesying to you, mm -hmm. discernment says, are you encouraged? Are you encouraged? Are you edified? Are you edified? Mm. In faith, yeah. Are you losing faith or it's being built? Yeah. Simple principles of designing the right prophecy. Can you say that again? <laughs> I, <laughs> uh, people need to hear this. <laughs> no, but, you know, so that we're not going to have people go say, I'm a, uh, as well as you know, the things that we see on yeah. TV. Yeah. It's been a lot. It's been a lot. <laughs> so this is why I want you to just this again so that yeah. they can hear this thank you thank mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. they need to they, let it get it let it sink into their spirits yeah Uti, when i'm prophesying to you mm -hmm. if you feel like you're losing confidence and faith faith and you see your future mm -hmm. darker mm -hmm. despair mm -hmm. it's not from god mm -hmm. and also if your faith is not strengthened, it's not from God. If you've got fear, fear. it's not from God. Mm. God never uses fear as a forerunner. Only the devil, before he does something, yeah. he'll send fear as a forerunner. 
Ah. God sends confidence, faith, hope, love as a forerunner before a miracle comes. Confidence, faith, faith. hope, love as a forerunner before a miracle comes. Thank you. Thank you. Let's, let's, let's go back uh, again yeah, to the to the fivefold, and then yeah, you have like a teacher. These these are offices. This can also be offices. Yeah. These are offices. These are offices. Yes, okay. yes. Right. These are offices. Okay. Um, so the teacher, the evangelist. Uh, uh, okay, you've already we've already touched on the um, on the apostle and the, and the prophet. Yes. So the teacher and the evangelist. So what 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 do those offices do? Okay. They they, they okay. It's, it's a simple way to make an example of a teacher and a, and, a, and a evangelist. The, the evangelist is like a fisherman who's fishing fish. Yeah. Get a net. <laughs> yes. All kinds of fishes. Uh-huh. All right? Yeah. The teacher is removing scales and getting them ready for cooking. Ah, yes, simple <laughs> <laughs> So he'll get rid of oh. scales. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's how we're going to work. Yes. Uh, God's fishing company. Yes. God is waiting for good fish yeah. without scales. Yeah. But these two guys yeah. have to work together. They have to work together. They have to work together. Yeah. 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 We mustn't blame the teacher for not going to the world and, and, and fishing. Mm. We mustn't say Ikolinyak is not right. It's not his task. Yeah. We can't blame an evangelist and say he must teach. No, it's not his task. Yes, you're touching a, an important a, 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 a subject matter now. Again, lay a calling. Yes. So, umoto, how do they know what to get? I get me now, this is my calling. So that there's a was what's okay, I'm a teacher, I'm a, an evangelist, uh, especially those, yes, and yes. I'm a pastor. Nyebona lega prophet, nega apostle, because those kids are too Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Simple three yeah, things. Yeah. Uh, can I say I don't know if it's more than three things or yes. Yeah. Okay. First of all, yeah. When God is calling you for something, He gives it a strong desire. A strong desire. Yes. Give I hear strong... you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so right. what do you we usually did? I mean, when I was growing up in the Pentecostal church, yeah. I thank God for them, but. Mm. A lot of people lost the desire for their talents in terms of if something looks natural, like like soccer, yeah, like being a, a talk show host. You know, it's your desire to communicate. Now, yes. now the word shouldn't the, the our preaching, I'm not sure the word. Mm -hmm. Our preaching shouldn't take that out. Okay, yes. strong desire. Yes. And also it should flow naturally. Mm -hmm. it, should, it shouldn't be a struggle. Mm -hmm. a, 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 something you're called for, you don't make it up. Are we saying Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> then you go to school to sharpen it. But before you go to school, you don't go to Bible school to get a calling. You go there because you got it. You could don't go study to be a teacher to get a calling for teaching. Yeah. You go there because you got one. Yeah. You feel yeah. Okay, we can from Yes. So uh, and the fourth thing is that you see the fruits. Mm. If you are a good teacher, five, ten years later you meet somebody or say or a teacher because he went through your class. Mm, mm. You are produced, that's a fruit. Mm, mm, mm. So it's three things strong mm. desire, flow naturally, and fruits. Strong desire, mm. flow, flow naturally, naturally, and fruits. fruits. I'm sure our, our viewers um, can hear that. And of course, those that will be watching us later will be edified. Let me check if we've got any other uh, question on our Facebook page. Okay, because we are talking about the prophetic ministry, so what qualifies one to be in the prophetic office? Okay. You no, know, because yes. I can, I can mm. prophesy. Mm. I can be a prophet. Yeah. 
but does that mean I am now in the prophetic office? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Good question. Yeah. It's different to prophesy yes. and to be in a prophetic office. Okay. Yeah, right. First of all, if, if you are in a prophetic office, mm. there's a training that you go through. Training. Yes. Okay. It's two ways. Mm -hmm. God trains you in his word. Yeah. And God trains you through circumstances. Okay. Yes. And thirdly, God trains you through your leader. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now, if you are going to, when I David, mm -hmm. if you're going to be a king, yes, you'll go through God's training of shepherding sheep. Yeah. Before you shepherd God's people. <laughs> so, look mm -hmm. at Joseph. Yes. Joseph. Joseph was a politician. Yeah. But he had a prophetic anointing upon him. Mm. He could see and prophesy. Mm. So look, look at how he's been trained. He was trained by his father mm -hmm. in, in, in commercial. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. He was also trained by his father mm -hmm. to hear God's voice. Mm. 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 So the prophet goes through training. Mm -hmm. Another thing, the, the prophet goes through uh, the making process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I, that removes Amakas and then Amakas ga Anyanis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, might be, you might be trained differently from other people. Mm. And most of the prophets, they go through lonely roads. That must be clear in the, in the, in the, in the, in the on yes. search. I hear you. No, exactly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> lonely road. Yeah. Because they feel rejected. They feel this. You go through that. Yeah. Then you need to get mentors yeah who are already there okay you don't follow okay it is very important to learn yes one you don't follow yeah people who are at your level and okay. call them your leaders hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you you follow those mm who have already gone through the schools. Okay. So Little Bible, our children mm -hmm. are like arrows mm -hmm. in the hand of a mighty man. Mm -hmm. Then you go back to mighty man in the mighty Bible. Man. Mighty man, Ila Vesengabamiza today as special force soldiers. I'm mm -hmm. a soldier, a special force of South Africa is usually 35 guys. Mm that can take on the whole army of about 3,000. Mm -hmm. Why are they called a special forces? Because mm -hmm. they, they are specialities. They are training Abu is Yeah, yeah. To other ordinary soldiers. Yeah. Yes, yes, exactly. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right. So, a special force, you have been through the special force, Mm -hmm. could come back and train the soldiers. The yes. commanders, yes. the generals, yes. uh, must special force. Yes. Yes. Why? They went through the whole school and another school and another school. Mm. The Bible says, how are you going to spot a leader? You know them by their fruits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when, when you look at guys like um, Mike Maddock, mm -hmm. And you look at guys, I mean, he doesn't prophesy all the time, but mm -hmm. he speaks all the time, the mm -hmm. word. Mm -hmm. He's been through divorce, but mm -hmm. he stood. He's been mm -hmm. through this, but he stood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why I can call him. Yeah. A mighty man. A mighty man. Because tried and tested. Tried and tested. Yeah. Yeah. So if you follow somebody yeah. who has never been through any battle, yeah. you're not safe. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, actually, you're going to experience what you are supposed to experience. Mm. Mighty men are men who've been through many battles and overcame. They overcame. They overcame. That's another issue. Yeah. The issue is not just them going through battles. Yeah. It's yeah. did they overcome? Uh huh. Because I need to not to start where they started. Mm. I need to start where they ended. Give us a so if I follow somebody who's yeah. got scars, yeah, 
I'm not saying suffering. Yeah. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Any good leader goes through suffering. Of course. Uh, well. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, 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 so now, you follow that person. Mm-hmm. What he was going through, he was going through for you. And Paul says, I'm going through this for mm-hmm. you guys. Mm-hmm. When you follow that person, you find yourself, yes, in, I didn't go through what this guy went through. Mm-hmm. Why? Because when he went through, he went through it for me. I want to help as well. Yeah. Uh-huh. So when I submit to a leader, yeah. God is protecting me. When I don't, I have to start where he started. If I do, I have to start where he ended. Okay. The office. Office, my <laughs> 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 And yes. then now, yeah. a, a good prophet is mm-hmm. somebody who's under a leader. Mm. A healthy leader, a good leader. Mm. A leader, a prophet and I own, might not be a prophet. Okay. Most of the time is not yes. a prophet. Yes. Why? Because in the kingdom of God, yeah. God is very careful about balance. Yeah. If a prophet is always relating only, underline only. Yeah. Not good, it's wrong to be under a prophet. I mean, yeah. Elijah was under Elisha. Yes. Uh, Jeremiah had other guys. Yes. But just to get to know this, yeah. Jeremiah mentored Daniel. Daniel was a politician. Ah. Uh, yeah, was... A prophet yeah. who produces a, 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 a executive politician. Yeah. Who occupies offices and excel in politics. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Balance. When 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 uh, Daniel saw the visions mm-hmm. that was prophetic about mm-hmm. the future, mm-hmm. he analyzed them. Yeah. Why? He's mm-hmm. a politician. Mm. He interpreted them. Yeah. He put the application of them. All right. Now into it. You have to be under somebody for balance. Yeah. If you are under a prophet, you also need a teacher somewhere. This is what is very important. Yeah. People, people must know, Oguti, you can have one father. Yeah. But you, you must have more than one mentors. Mentors. Thank you. I know you're good at that. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're good at that. Yes. So you're very good at, at, at mentoring. Yeah. You're mentoring people with fathers. They're from different churches. Yeah. They've got so a father is one who gives birth to you and one who nurtures you. Yeah, he might not be the best preacher or teacher, yes, but he gave birth to the guy that you are. Yeah, a mentor is teaching you how to do it. Yes, he's like a coach. Yeah, coach. So a prophet is somebody who's got a father and a coach. Ah, that's the one who's occupying an office now. That's an office. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let me go to our Facebook page again. It's in Mbuzula Paya. We have, this is Pumzila again, actually, the challenges we face are for others to get help. See, I'm going to go see for the pains and challenges. Oh, it's a comment. It's a comment. Okay. What you were just okay. saying. Okay. Now let's come back to this uh, uh, because the, 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 the uh, verse that we started with. Right. Um, was referring to dreams and visions. Right. Take us through that. People who dream a lot, people who see visions. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Are they prophets? Uh, they might be, they might not. They might not. Most okay. of the time, they're not. Yeah. Um, like I'm saying, with the, a prophet is not a prophet because of one prophetic happening. Yeah. So you're not a prophet yeah. because Anglia could sharper on dreams. Mm-hmm. It's not holistic. You've not been through training that I was talking about. Yes. You've not been under a coach. You've yeah. not un- been under a general or a yeah. commander. You've yeah. not been and all this now. Mm-hmm. But, excuse me, God is using you in the era of dreams. Yeah. Which is very important now. It goes back to the word. Yeah. When you are asleep. Yeah. Your natural senses are mm. calm. Yes. Your spiritual senses are up. Yeah. So... Also, your subconscious mind. Yeah. 
So it's if you image. <laughs> <laughs> subconscious mind. <laughs> so if you so if if you're dreaming, mm-hmm. sometimes it's a subconscious mind. Yeah. Subconscious mind, it holds the files for the mind. Yeah. The mind through five senses yeah. records what's happening today. Yes. The subconscious files it. Yeah. What happened in early age? What yeah. happened? Yeah. Now, the subconscious mind, sometimes it works at night whilst we are asleep, mm-hmm. sorting the files. I'm a file about which. Last week, you're visiting yeah. Yeah. a friend with, with the huge dogs. Ne? Yes. And then the following two weeks, yeah. the subconscious mind was sorting files. You yeah. dream of a big dog. Yeah. You must check. check. Either it's a dream from the subconscious or oh. it's from the spirit man. From the spirit man or from the subconscious. Yeah, yes, exactly. Now, how are you going to see it's from the spirit man? It's yeah. through interpretation of a dream through what we call twine, types and shadows. Yes. It's types and shadows have to mm-hmm. do with an image yeah. that interprets something. Okay. Like, for instance, in the Old Testament, when you talk about the lamb, it represents Christ. Yes. When, yes. So you interpret a dream by the weight, nothing yes. else. Nothing else. Yes. What does the, the dog mean in the Bible? Yeah. It's a scavenger. It's something that eats people or mm. eats mm. other animals. <laughs> so, exactly. In a dream. Yeah. <laughs> you know what that is? <laughs> God, when he talks about the <laughs> dog or scavenger, yeah. he's talking about mostly the mouth yes. because it represents false accusation and gossip. Yes. <laughs> Who manning me? <laughs> <laughs> so when you dream a dog, yes. you know, let's see, uh, I'm fighting a spirit yes. of gossip. gossip. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> Yeah. Or oh, false accusation. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, then sometimes you dream, dream a crocodile. Mm. You, mm. A, a crocodile mm. is more like a, a interpretation. Yeah. In the Old Testament, yes. it represents Leviathan. Leviathan is a crocodile or a dinosaur. Mm. It mm. represents an animal mm. that, that breaks relationships. Mm. Letting Cabano. Mm, mm. It breaks covenants, mm, mm. the relationship. Mm, mm, All right? Mm. So if you are a dreamer, mm. you must learn. Uh, I recommend that people buy in you know, Kevin Corner. Kevin Corner. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Edit Types and Shadows. Types and Shadows. Yes. Kevin Corner. Yeah. yeah Kevin Corner. Yeah, yeah. All right. I guess it's in there you see a mountains. Yes. And Jesus says, you shall say to the mountain yeah. and it moves. It mm-hmm. means it's challenges. Yes. Okay. If God shows you a challenge, yeah. it means he has overcome it. Ah. All the devil's attacks yes. rely on secrecy. Yes. Once they're yes. exposed, they yes. lose their power. Ah. The reason God showed you this is because yeah. he's eating the part of it. <laughs> he's destroying the iron. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's destroying the part of it. Yes. So that's very important. When you dream something negative, more works in. Yes. Break it. it. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, now you know no, dreams and visions i think it's a topic, topic for another exactly day. exactly i think it's a topic for another day yep. i think it's a topic for another day yeah. um what else is in your spirit um for this that you would like to talk about some a question that i didn't ask or that wasn't asked on our facebook page but maybe you had prepared yes, and you'd yes, like yes, to yes, share yes. with our audience yes yeah i think the, the most important thing when it mm-hmm. comes to prophecy mm-hmm. is that prophecy <laughs> is always having I'm a twins, no, not two twins, I'm a twin. identical, five identicals, try quadruple, no, mm-hmm. 
Five identities. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. First of, of all is the word. The word. Okay. Yeah. Second of all is yeah. is uh, revelation. Yes. Because revelation yeah. is prophecy. Mm -hmm. Revelation has to do with eyes. Mm -hmm. Prophecy has to do with the mouth. Mm -hmm. It works together. Mm. When I read the Bible, and then I begin to see what I didn't see before in the same verse, it's called revelation. Okay. Mm. Another, another, another identical is, which is very important, is understanding. Yes. To analyze what yes. you saw. Yes. Or analyze what you had in your spirit. Prophecy. Yes. You have to analyze the prophecy. Yeah. Okay. And then knowledge. You need to get the scripture. Yeah. Yeah. for the prophecy yeah. yeah then the last one yeah is wisdom how to apply it you know your wisdom hey wisdom are we cutting and challenge your wisdom that's why paul says uh, no it's uh, king solomon yes he says in the book of proverbs wisdom yeah, yeah. is the principal thing it's the principal thing. Yes. Wisdom is the principal thing, but yes. mm. it's a mo principal means most important. Yes. Yes. It's the main. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason is he knows that most of the things that are tragic, wrong, that happens to our, on earth mm -hmm. happen because wisdom was out of the picture. Mm. Argument. Uh, crime, whatever it is, mm -hmm. even recession, is <laughs> because somewhere <my> wisdom <laughs> mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. taken out of the occasion, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and uh, wisdom is necessary mm -hmm. also in relationship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll give you some, an example. Mm -hmm. If I say something about somebody, mm -hmm. it's not for it's not wise for me to tell it to somebody else, mm -hmm. or if I saw something or somebody, and I'm preaching in the church, mm -hmm. but we're indecisive. Yes. I can't call that person. Yeah. Bring it forward of yeah. him. Yeah. And tell it on the microphone. Mm. But we're seeing a lot of that. I'm seeing a lot of it. Yeah. Why am I seeing a lot of it again? Yeah. yeah. The Bible says, if you see people's weaknesses mm -hmm. or helping people of their weaknesses, mm -hmm. you must be very careful. Mm -hmm because God is trusting you with it. Mm. But I'm saying we see a lot of that in churches. Oh yeah, oh yes, yeah. yes. We see a lot of that in yeah. churches. Uh, it's not God's will at all. It has done a lot of damage. People backsliding because of that. Yeah. Instead of saying, calling that person, take the mic away. Yeah. Whisper in the ear, can yeah. I have an appointment with you? Yeah. Uh, being decent. Yeah. Is not being low spiritual. Actually, heaven is very decent. Yeah, yeah. And some people say, uh, it, some people when they get more spiritual, mm -hmm. they become more indecent. It's not in the kingdom. It's not in the kingdom. There's protocol in the kingdom. So, so what's your take on those kind of uh, uh, churches whereby they 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 prophesy openly? You know where it's like yeah. the, there's a segment for yeah. a yeah. prophesy, Papa. Papa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I say yeah. I say. In all these identicals, they've taken wisdom out. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Well, if you read, I think it's Proverbs chapter eight. Mm -hmm. King Solomon is talking about wisdom. Yeah. He's saying. Yeah. Um, he's saying mm -hmm. wisdom lifts its voice mm -hmm. in high places of the city. Yes. And on the streets. Yeah. But it's not talking about lifting its voice in the temple. So you find people out there. Companies are mean go match. They're running very smoothly because there's wisdom there. You know, we can learn from sinners because they took this thing from the word. Principles of running, vertical, they got them from the Bible. 
Yeah. And Tina, we let the wisdom walk out the door. We stayed with spirituality without wisdom. Spirituality without wisdom. Yes. Because we thought wisdom is not spiritual. Enough. Uh, <laughs> uh, if I don't act crazy and 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 and, and put a moon to in front of people, I'm not spiritual. Mm. If I'm decent, I'm not spiritual. And God is saying, mm. decency and wisdom mm, mm, mm. is what I've ordained as 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 spiritual. Decency and wisdom, and wisdom is what I've ordained, I've ordained as spiritual. As spiritual. Because if you look at kings and queens, queen of England, king of this, king of that, mm. when you approach where they stay, mm. you even take your head out. Yes. You know yes. why you take your head, head yeah. out? Yeah. The yeah. distancy, distancy in the yeah. atmosphere. It's the distance in the atmosphere. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what the, the, the churches of today has lost. Um, Dr. Mans Monroe, one yeah. of my mentors, yes, yes. he said when he grew up, mm. when people are passing outside the church, mm -hmm. males mm -hmm. will take off their heads yeah. until they pass through who are not saved. Because mm. the church still had decency. I find that when I was going to go to the church, mistakes are the other way around. I think yeah. to, they, they look forward to that. They go to those kind of yeah. uh, churches because they are looking forward to a prophecy. Yes, yes, yes. So it's not the fault of the one who prophesies, but maybe it's a, 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 a joint responsibility. I like what you say. Yeah. It's two ways. It's yeah. a joint responsibility. Yeah. And sometimes, sometimes people can pull you mm. to be naive. People can pull you to be naive. Yeah. Wow. They can trick you into their naiveness. Ah. When they say prophet, I prophesy, maybe they desire it, but on the other side, they, there's naiveness with them. Yeah. I'm not going to prophesy because you tell me. I'm prophesying because God is saying. I might say a prophecy, uh, God is strengthening you and end it. If you add, what's out? Yeah. For you to be. Put your money to what was on the Nandi J. Oh my God! Where's our Ruben Nandi Pundis? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You know. Mm. So, so it, it, it's it's wisdom. Wisdom. It's the principal thing. Mm. Okay, let me give the, this example. Wisdom makes something to last long. Wisdom makes something to last long. Yeah. King Solomon. Yes. Is still admired today after 5,000 years. Yes. 4,500 yes. or 5,000 years. Yes, yes. What he was, what he started, yeah. is still remaining today. Why? Mm. We saw with there was this sense there. Yeah. When yeah. Queen F. Shepherd came yeah. Yeah. to his palace, she yeah. said, Everything is so much in order la, yeah. and decent. Yeah. The half of what I see mm. has not been told. To yeah, me. yeah, yeah. Decency makes something to last long. Decency makes something to last long. Let me yeah, go to and our wisdom also. and wisdom. Decency and wisdom. Bazalwane, decency and decency and wisdom. Let me go to our Facebook page and yes. see if we've got any other question. Okay. I think it's a comment from my boy. Um, Mosia, who says powerful spirituality without wisdom, must be wise whilst okay. being spiritual. Bagetti, thank you. and goes. Uh, so now I just want you to, as a parting shot and just a last advice to our right. viewers out there. Uh, yes. So, where a person maybe feels like, uh, you know, maybe someone had told them that they have a prophetic gift. Right. But or an anointing. Yeah. But they are not too sure mm. uh, what to do yes. to be able to see this manifesting. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Because I've heard that can also be very frustrating when you are not aligned to what God has called you mm. to. Mm. Mm. You mm. know. Mm. How would you advise the kind of person as a passing short in Um. 
first of all yeah. is the the preparation side of it you might yes. be told today but today. Yes, yes and function 10 years later <laughs> all right or five years later all right or a year later all right it does all has to do with god shows you most of the time where you're going yeah and he begs down and start with you where you are he shows you he shows you yes okay uh, either through prophecy or yeah. through what god shows you yeah okay you somebody prophesied you, you're gonna be this yes he's telling the future that's not where you are now yeah and then god breaks down yeah to where you are yeah <laughs> have we been to listen exactly <laughs> yeah. exactly you know yes, yeah yes. Uh-huh. then sometimes we want to skip stages sometimes you want to skip stages yeah mm. and sometimes we put unnecessary pressure on our lives if oh. god said i'm gonna be this i'm gonna be this why do i put pressure let me be this next week if we get another dad in church next Sunday, I'm a prophet as a saint in the church, <laughs> then I'm something not. Why are you putting pressure on yourself yeah. on what you didn't say to you? Yeah. It's God said to you. Yeah. Why why do you Yes, you know, yes, yeah. yes. So yeah. So it's key to listen to God. It's key to listen to it's God. It's key to read the word. It's the key word to, is key. It's key. Discernment is key. Discernment is key. Wisdom is key. Wisdom is key. Wow. Wow. I couldn't have said it any better. Let me for the last time check if you've got any questions or comments on our Facebook page. I think uh, that's about it. Allow me, uh, Bob Mashaba, to say thank you so much (laughs) for accepting my invitation to join us. It is our First interview wow. live in our studio. Oh, wow. uh, prophet. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I just I just feel like praying and blessing this thank show. Thank you, thank you, Father. and and Hallelujah. also speaking a anointing of birthing. Thank you, thank uh, because one of the things that God has given me is an anointing of a midwife to give birth. And, and and God is going to speak to your womb Hallelujah. to give back to this show Hallelujah. and give back to ears. Hallelujah. And and the Bible says, yeah, talks about once you were being prepared, yes. God was preparing the ears to hear you and he didn't know. Praise the name of Five Jesus. years ago, two years ago, three years ago, yes. and all that. Yes. And God has already prepared an audience for you. So Hallelujah. that's what I could say. Hallelujah. And God Hallelujah. is going to give you much health and strength to live long. Hallelujah. So that you fulfill this thing what God has given you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can go ahead and pray for us, Baba. Father, thank you, Lord, for this wonderful show. Thank you for the, this baby that's being born today. We release the bad thing. We give it for bad thing it for in the name of Jesus. That's gonna reach millions of people. We give Paul bring forth Lord the 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 atmosphere that pulls those ears you have prepared through the years to hear what comes through this vessel. Come, Mr. Sumkwanas, in Jesus' mighty name, and I thank you for blessing the ear that shall hear. I declare, Father, in the atmosphere that where this line will be going, it shall be clear. No hindrance. Yes, no, no, no hindrance in the name of yes, Jesus. Yes, Even in bad weather, yes, they'll yes. see that this line is going yes, clear. We don't know why, Hallelujah. but God's hand is upon it. Hallelujah. And I thank you, Lord, for finances Hallelujah. for this. Thank you, I thank you for those who will fund Hallelujah. this mission. Super. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for to branch forth out of this. I think for the school of the Bible, they shall be born out of this e-corner in the name of Jesus. And God has given e-corner also skills to transfer for the spiritual building of the kingdom. And I declare, Father, that corporate leaders of young, 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 young tigers and lions of the corporate world who will think like Joseph, and see how economy is supposed to be, will be born out of this, says the Lord of hosts. May blessings come on everyone who is hearing today in Jesus' name. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Praise the name of Jesus. Thank you, Praise Jesus. the name of Jesus. Thank you to the people that were viewing us live on our Facebook page. And of course, thank you to the people that will be viewing us later on our YouTube channel. But most importantly, thanks to you, Bab Mashaba, for joining us uh, this thank afternoon. You, and of course, for what you've just uh, spoken over. Yeah. <laughs> uh, God is amazing. I'm just so overwhelmed. I'm so overwhelmed. God is amazing. God is amazing. I have to thank the team, the whole team at Econo Thrive Global for believing in me when I say, this is what you are doing. I put, I said yesterday, I was like, I oh, know, we are live. <laughs> it's a studio. <laughs> and they just, they don't question. They just like, oh, okay. If you say, let it be. So guys, the Econo Thrive Global team, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. And I love you so much, guys. And um, of course, I have to thank Mamu Musi Shabalala, Who's our executive producer, and of course, uh, Baba Ulindan in Zimbabwe, who leads the technical team, and of course, to Angel <laughs> Nkiza, who's my executive assistant, and the whole team of Econo Thrive Global. Guys, I appreciate you and I love you so, 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 so much. And of course, I love our viewers more because <laughs> what makes the show is our audience. <laughs> uh, thank you so much uh, once again uh, but much may you god so bless you abundantly i do amen. know that there is a whole lot more uh, a whole lot more amen, <laughs> amen, amen. so some of the things that you have been speaking about there's going to be a collaborative effort yeah. between econo yeah. and uh, about praise the name of jesus hallelujah yeah. hallelujah uh, god is good god is good uh, bless you Bazalwane, for joining us this afternoon uh, my name is zordom siman kansi bande coming to you live from our studios at Econo Thrive Global. Thank you so much for joining us. God bless you abundantly. Of course, we are thriving in abundance. We will be seeing you again on Tuesday afternoon on our special series of Women Thrive, where we celebrate women who are leaders in our country. And of course, eventually it will be the continent and the world watch this place. Thank you. <laughs>